Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another learning video. In this video, we are going to decode 20 interview questions and their answers related to balances. Before we begin today's video, let me tell you one thing that those who have seen our previous videos on the balance calibration, for them it will be very easy to answer all these questions which we are going to discuss in today's video. So let's get started without any further delay. Question number one, what are the USP journal chapter numbers for the balances? So the answer to the question is there are two USP journal chapter numbers related to the balances and those are USP journal chapter number 41 and USP journal chapter number 1251. Question number two, what are the balance calibration parameters as per USP journal chapter number 41? So answer to the question is there are two balance calibration parameters as per USP journal chapter number 41 and those are repeatability and accuracy. Question number three, what is the formula for repeatability calculation? So answer to the question is formula for the repeatability is two into standard deviation divided by smallest net weight into 100. Question number four, why repeatability test is performed? So answer to the question is repeatability test is performed to check whether valence is able to give the same results for the same object under the same conditions every time. Question number five, what is the smallest net weight? So answer to the question is smallest net weight means the minimum weight below which weighing is not acceptable. For example, if you have calculated smallest net weight as 10 milligram, then you are not supposed to take any weight below 10 milligram on the balance. Question number six, what is the formula to calculate smallest net weight? So answer to the question is smallest net weight is equal to 2000 into standard deviation. So this standard deviation value will be taken from the repeatability test where we will take the 10 measurements of a test weight. Sometimes standard deviation value is less than the 0.41 D. In that case, formula for the smallest net weight will be 2000 into 0.41 D. Question number seven. What is D in the formula smallest net weight? You can see the formula 2000 into 0.41 D. So what is D here? So answer to the question is D is called as scale interval or the readability, which means the least value which your balance can read. Question number eight, how the accuracy test is performed? So answer to the question is to perform accuracy test, a single test weight is selected and its weight is measured. After that, accuracy is calculated with the help of this formula. Certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100. Question number 9. What is the acceptance limit for the accuracy test? So answer to the question is acceptance limit for the accuracy test is not more than 0.10%. Question number 10. How much weight should be taken for the accuracy test? So answer to the question is to perform accuracy test, weight should be between 5 to 100 percent capacity of the balance question number 11 what are the balance calibration parameters as per usp journal chapter number 1251 so answer to the question is as per usp journal chapter number 1251 there are four balance calibration parameters and those are sensitivity eccentricity linearity and repeatability and if you remember repeatability test is also mentioned in the usp journal chapter number 41 Question number 12. What is the title of USP journal chapter number 1251? So answer to the question is title of the USP journal chapter number 1251 is weighing on an analytical balance. I will repeat it once again, weighing on an analytical balance. And if you remember title of the USP journal chapter number 41 is balances. Question number 13. How much test weight should be taken to perform sensitivity test? So answer to the question is weight close to the balance capacity is taken as the test weight to perform sensitivity test. For example, if the balance weighing capacity is 220 gram, then you can take a 200 gram weight as a test weight to perform sensitivity test. Question number 14. What is the acceptance limits for the sensitivity test? So answer to the question is limit for the sensitivity test is not more than 0.05%. 
and along with this you can see the formula for the calculation of the sensitivity that is certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100 the observed value should not be more than 0.05 percent question number 15 what is the difference between the accuracy test and the sensitivity test well friends if you see the calculation for the both the tests accuracy test and sensitivity test then you will find that both the tests are having the similar formulas however there is a one difference between both the tests let us see what is that so if you remember accuracy test is performed by selecting test weight between 5 to 100 percent capacity of the balance whereas sensitivity test is performed by selecting test weight near to the balance capacity or i can say that sensitivity test is carried out by selecting the maximum weight whereas accuracy test is performed by selecting the test weight between 5 to 100 percent capacity of the balance so i hope the difference is clear to you now question number 16 what is eccentricity test and how it is performed so well friends in eccentricity test a test weight is measured at the all corners of the balance pan and compared with the weight at the center position suppose a balance pan is of rectangular shape then the first weight will be measured at the center of the pan and then remaining test weights will be measured on the all these four corners of the balance after that eccentricity will be calculated with the help of this formula weight at the center minus weight at individual corner divided by the weight at the center into 100 the obtained value should not be more than 0.05 percent question number 17 what is the formula to calculate eccentricity so answer to the question is weight at the center minus weight at individual corner divided by the weight at the center into 100 so this is the formula for the calculation of eccentricity question number 18 what is the acceptance limit for the eccentricity test so answer to the question is limit for the eccentricity test is not more than 0.05 percent question number 19 what is the acceptance limits for the linearity test so answer to the question is limit for the linearity test is not more than 0.05 percent here you can remember one very important point that uh, for the linearity eccentricity and sensitivity test the acceptance limit is not more than 0.5 percent or i can say that for all these three tests the acceptance limits are same and that is not more than 0.05 percent question number 20 how much test weight is taken to carry out the eccentricity test so answer to the question is test weight should be more than 30 percent of the balance capacity to carry out the eccentricity test so guys this was all about today's video hope you have learned something new today before winding up today's video let me tell you one thing that in next video we will learn about the types of the weight boxes which are used for the calibration and types of the balances till then stay tuned to firm appeal bye bye and happy learning